right, welcome to the third game of the evening. Up this time is Vera Blank, Ghost in the Castle. If you recall, we covered the first Vera Blank game, Full Moon, a, a few weeks ago. This is the sequel to that game. Uh, this time, Vera Blank, Vera Blanc, however that's particularly pronounced. Anyway, Vera's um, in the Italian countryside investigating a ghostly endeavor. So, you know, it, it's gone full Scooby-Doo here, apparently. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so this uh, this game was the Switch version, so over to the Gollets. Uh, so this, as far as stuff that's relevant to it being a Switch, Switch port, it's fine. The controls are not too bad. Uh, I didn't honestly feel the need to check if it was touch controllable because the the uh, button controls worked fine, but I think it is. Uh, I can probably check that right now anyway. But yes, we uh, join our um, bioengineered daughter of a bazillionaire, uh, Vera, who is now being a detective because of wanting to make the world a better place. Um, And her partner, who she has obviously a flirty relationship with but doesn't stop her from flirting with everyone else honestly i found that there was a lot of uh not full-on cheesecake stuff but just the art is a little bit like horny a little bit yeah and they go into it a little bit more than i think is necessary you know uh i know um so yeah it's mostly yes touch controls work uh it's mostly a adventure game for the purposes of you go to places and talk to people in different orders and try to figure out what's going on i did not get that far actually i'm only on like day five or something out of like i want to say eight to ten but the last ones are longer Mm mm-hmm I used a guide to uh, get it faster after a point. Uh, I played with the mini games on because uh, Vera has the, because of her bioengineering, has the ability to read people's minds. And uh, mini games, the most common mini game to come up is that when you read it, read people's minds, you get to do a weird Wheel of Fortune thingy to try to pick out the first several words of what they're thinking. But. Uh, it's not super hard because uh, they tend to use most of the letters. You don't have a whole lot of chances to miss, though. Uh, the puzzle that gave me a little bit, and there was a number matching one, like a Simon Says, that was quite easy to. The ones that are the most frustrating are the ones where they ask you to find the differences between a left and right picture. Because mm-hmm. the differences are always like little black things that are marked onto the thing, but the art style of the game involves black outlines and sometimes like pen marks. So it can be tricky to tell what's different. Honestly, the best tip I had for doing that was if you can do a magic eye thing, you can get the two, and you're playing on a small screen, you can get the two. Uh, images to overlap and that makes the stuff stand out um it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot in the way of different routes early on i mean there's different orders you get stuff in and uh the switch version unlike uh some of the other versions doesn't have trophies to worry about um there was one thing that I think I missed the scene where you meet a character and it still acted as though I had done that. So, I don't know. Um, it didn't seem, like, bad for a mystery thing. I'm actually kind of interested in where the story goes, but... I know, I guess it's weird because sometimes we re-review, like, outright porn visual novels and shit. Uh, but I felt like in this thing... Sometimes it being horny got a little bit in the way of the the story that I was interested in. 
Well, that's because this is um, being concerned about being a real mystery and stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I didn't think it was bad. I hope I can have some more time to play a little bit more of it. Uh, maybe finish the story, but uh, I don't. I certainly don't think it was bad. The art is actually generally nice. Uh, the puzzles aren't too bad. Um, don't want to. Wouldn't want to talk too much about the story anyway for spoilers reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. What's the damage money wise? I didn't really listen to much, but the music was fairly ordinary. Anyway, uh, this uh, clocks in at five dollars. Yeah, for that it's fine if you're interested in mystery stories and like adventure, visual novel type adventures. Okay. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. I mean, do you guys have any questions? No. I'm good. I'm good. Then I can't right. think of anything else off the top of my head. All right, then. Uh, so that'll about do it for Ghost in the Castle uh, here. So be sure to tune in after the break as Twilight will tackle Grow Big or Grow Home. <laughs> 